Ah, oh, I don't know if I'm in shot right now, but the water's so nice today. Ah, oh, let's see if I can get up here without getting my mic wet. Made it to the big G spot, to the video about becoming a big G. So, is my mic on? Oh, my mic's on. So, in this video, I want to talk about why sales is the ultimate foundation for you actually becoming a big G, for becoming a high value man. It's going to set you up perfectly for self-improvement and it's going to set you up perfectly to actually go on and actually start making money online and then start a business because that's exactly what I did. So running it back, running it back. So I don't know what you was like in school, bro, but me in school, um, I wasn't like the popular kid. But I was just like the guy that, okay, like, I've, I have no enemies. Like, there's no reason to really not like me. You know what I mean? I, I was so, sort of liked by everyone. I still got invited to, like, the parties and stuff. But I was just a bit of a weirdo, you know? Um, I just I was just sort of friends with everyone. I was just a weirdo. I wasn't really, like, I was a little bit socially awkward. Like, I wouldn't really like talking to people. I wasn't a people's person. I was just like, if you don't speak to me, I'm not going to speak to you. I'm just chilling on my own. I just come into school with my yo-yo every day, doing my tricks, I had my afro um yeah that, that was my school life to be honest like nothing really that interesting there i mean to be fair actually not interesting so my first two years of high school i was at uh, I, this was in beverly i went to an all boys school called beverly grammar school and in beverly grammar school i was like the only there was like me and like one of a mixed kid. like there was like no black kids in that school in that town even um in beverly grammar school i was like fighting like pretty much like every other week but then when I went, when I moved to Nottingham, and then it was um, a mixed school, very multicultural, boys, girls. Um, then I was just sort of chill. But yeah, back in school, yeah, I wasn't. I, I was a little bit socially awkward. I wouldn't really talk to anyone. I wouldn't, wouldn't really talk to girls. And then same in college, I wouldn't really talk to anyone. I was just sort of, you know, social autist. And then when I was seventeen, in my second year of college, that's when I got into door to door sales. As soon as I got into door to door sales, I was instantly hooked because. Door-to-door -door sales gave me like the first taste of like what it means to be competitive as a man. It gave me the first taste of brotherhood. It gave me the first taste of purpose. And it gave me the first taste of like actually harnessing that competitive nature as men. Door-to-door -door sales changed me. I would not be the man that I am today here in Thailand in front of you guys on a camera. I would not be this man today if I didn't get into door-to-door -door sales, 100%. The character development was insane, brother. Was insane. So I was 17 at the time. Going to door to door sales, um, and door to door sales changed my life completely. So, the benefits of sales. Why, why is sales the ultimate foundation? Why is it just a no brainer for young men to get into sales if they really want to make something out of themselves in life? Now, of course, is the obvious. The obvious being, learning to sell is a very very valuable skill. Of course, all businesses, if they if they want to make money, they need to be able to sell, right? And that's why sales is so valuable. That's why here I am in Thailand with my alpha set of students. What do they do? They're remote sales reps. They work as appointment setters. This is a sales role. So sales is a very valuable skill that you can use in 2024 to make money online like all of these boys have. It's a valuable skill because it's going to give you the skills that you need to potentially go on to start your own successful business in the future. But obviously that's kind of like the obvious one. Yes, yeah, sales is incredible because it's the, in my opinion, the best way to start making money and building skills from scratch. Before you have skills, doesn't make sense to start a business. That's retarded. Of course, I'm not rich off sales. I'm rich off business. But sales gave me that foundation. Sales got me to my first 5K a month from my phone. The same with all these boys here in the villa. So yeah, sales is a great way to start making money and stacking skills. But sales does so much more for you than just helping you make money online and move to Thailand. So it, it does so much more. So for me, it completely changed like almost my, my personality. Growing up, I didn't, I, I never had like a father figure really. And I never really was like, had like a, like a really strong like brotherhood or anything. Me and my brother weren't close growing up at all. We'd just fight each other and beef. And that was about it. Like, so for me, like when I first got into sales, it was door to door sales and I went into the office for the first time and it was just a very testosterone filled environment. You know, my my boss, he was like fresh out of jail for like 17 months. He had two slits in each eyebrow. He'd come to work every single day in his suit and his snapback cap. Really like super autistic guy. Like if you think I'm autistic, this guy was autistic, like insane. He was super bipolar. 
He was up and down like a fucking yo-yo. Um, this guy was crazy. We'd go drifting every morning before work just to get the team energy up. I've got so many videos like in my camera roll of me just squealing. Maybe I'll put one. Maybe I'll put one in the video of me just squealing in the car, a 17-year-old me, while we're drifting roundabouts. It was insane. We're gonna die. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> we'd just do that on a Saturday morning before work and then we'd knock doors all day all night like literally 12 hours of just knocking doors get like getting rejected getting the police called on me making sales getting leads and it was just this environment where I was competing with uh, the boys have just arrived back sorry about the noise but yeah just in this environment of competing with the boys every single day in the office trying to see who can get the most leads who can get the most closes earn the most commissions who can stay out who can knock the most doors just this environment just really forged me as a man, my self-improvement. Before sales, I was social autist mode, couldn't speak to people, had zero people skills and zero confidence, to be honest. Even though I was quite a likable kid, like I, didn't have, I wasn't confident. I wasn't a confident person. But then after you, after you go out in the field in sales, whether that's as a setter, a closer, whether you're doing door-to-door -door sales or cold calling, whatever it is, just facing those rejections every single day, just talking to people every single day builds your character. Every no, of course, is one step closer to a yes. And without me dealing, without me facing that, without me facing rejection dead in the eyes on a day-to-day -day basis, I would not be the man that I am today and I would not have the skills that I have today. Right now, here I am talking to a camera, one take, one take video, no cuts, um, just because I've developed the skill of talking that I learned from door-to-door -door sales. Door-to-door -door sales is great. Door-to-door -door sales was super difficult because of course, like you've got like, who's this black kid at my door on a Saturday morning and what's he trying to sell me? People don't really have time for you because you're going to the, you're invading their personal space. But door-to-door -door sales is what made it so easy for me to get results as an appointment setter. As an appointment setter, people are not gonna respond to your message if they don't want to. So it was like going from having forced conversations with people at their door who don't want to talk to me to actually talking to people that want to talk to me. It was just, I found appointment settings so easy in comparison. So yeah, door-to-door -door sales taught me to harness my competitive nature as men where we're competing with the boys in the office every day. We're pushing each other. We just had that lads banter, that lads um, competitiveness. We had a, a work football team that we'd go to and we'd just beef everyone. Stuff like that, even though it just sounds really boisterous and almost like childish, like going to like the work football team and just beefing people. Like, again, this is all just stuff that actually forges us as, as young men. It's all part of our character development, right? Gives us that chest, gives us those balls, gives us confidence in life. It gives us stories to talk about. I've got so many stories from, uh, from working door-to-door -door sales that I, I, I love to talk about because it, yeah, it just really forged me as a man. And there's a reason why so many millionaires and billionaires all got started in sales. This is the most valuable skill in the world. This is how to, like, this is like the most leveraged skill that you can learn in 2024. You know, AI is out here doing a mad thing. All these boys are all thriving because they got into sales. I'm thriving because I got into sales. My progression was door to door sales, cold calling team leader, appointment setter, uh, little bit of closing, but like it was, that was mainly just for my agency anyway. And then obviously appointment setting agency slash growth agency. That was my progression in sales. Um, Alpha setters is thriving. Alpha setters, we train sales reps. Um, but yes, like sales is literally just the ultimate foundation to becoming a high value man. You're going to get better at talking to people. You're going to be get better at selling yourself because everything in everyday life is you're selling yourself all the time. You're selling yourself in a job interview. You're selling, your, you're selling yourself to like negotiate a better price for that house you want to buy. You're selling yourself to your future wife. Why should she choose you over all her other options? Because women have options. You're selling on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's another thing, actually. Um, growing up, yeah, like, talking to girls, I would, like, in school, I would not... I had, like, there was, like, well, this one girl that I was talking to one time, but then some other guy took my girl, and that traumatised me. But before sales, I could not, like, just talk to, like, a stranger and have a conversation, especially not just a girl um, and have a conversation. But, yeah, and it was only once I got into door-to-door -door sales that I actually started having, like, a little bit of a date in life. You know, actually meeting girls, actually going around to girls' houses and stuff. Like, that was, that was literally whilst I was in sales. Before then, I just didn't have the confidence to do so. Sales just did so much for me and my, my character development. And if you're a young guy, you're watching this video, you don't really have any many skills yet, you don't really know where you want to go with your life, bro, get into sales.
Sales was like my purpose at the time as well because every single day you've got the objective to be better than yesterday if you want to keep earning money. The thing that's great about sales is because it's commission-based, you're just incentivized to be a savage. Every single day, you've got a new objective on there which is to make more money than you did yesterday. If you don't perform, you don't earn money. So every single day, you're just dialed in. It's not like you're just living life every day, going through the motions like an NPC. You're actually applying pressure every single day and that's what I loved about sales. So... Um, sales is king. Yo, me. Sales. Has sales changed your life, bro? Of course it has, bro. Where are we? We're in Thailand because of sales, bro. So, yeah. Boys, get into sales. And as always, keep grinding.